Air mechanic Freddie Jackson was killed accidentally by an airplane propeller in 1919. Days after his death, his squadron took a group photo together. After the film was developed, they discovered the impossible, Freddie's image in the photo with them. Legend has it that Freddie's ghost was unaware of his own death and showed up to take the photograph with his squadron. Spooky. The SS Waterdown Phantom Faces When James Courtney and Michael Meehan were working on a cargo tank called the SS Waterdown in 1924, the men died from being exposed to gas fumes. They were buried at sea like many sailors were at the time. A few days after their funeral, Captain Keith Tracy saw the reflection of both of the men's faces in the ocean water. Mystery of the Hook Island Sea Monster Was it a giant tadpole about to take over the world? A leaked oil spill? The remains from a gorilla's stomach? I guess we'll never fully know, and ideas as to what it is are prevalent on the web. Captured in Queensland, Australia by French photographer Robert Le Sarek, Others of a more cynical realistic deposition merely believe it to be a long tarp. And though that's likely the case, no definitive conclusion was ever reached. Ted Danson and a ghost? While Ted Danson is best known for his work on television shows like Cheers, Becker, and C's, I, he also starred in many films throughout his career. One such film was the 1987 comedy film, Three Men and a Baby. But what's with that creepy little kid peering through the curtains? Let's just say he wasn't exactly part of the script. Does the Babushka lady have evidence to JFK's assassination? This woman, nicknamed the Babushka lady, was seen using a video recorder at the time of the shooting when everyone else was ducking for cover as President John F. Kennedy was being assassinated. The FBI tried finding her for years, but she never was identified. The Kid Borosaurus? This gem of a story dates back to 1907 when nine fishermen caught a giant sea monster that they claimed was a Kid Borosaurus. However, the Kid Borosaurus is a creature whose existence, like the Yeti or Loch Ness sea monster, is often disputed. And many simply saw this photo as nine bored men with too much time on their hands. But what throws that common thought in doubt are the plethora of scientists who have since tried but failed to determine what kind of creature it is. Surely, then, researchers who assessed it would have noticed if it were indeed fake? I guess we'll never know. The backseat driver. This isn't any old backseat driver. No, it's not your annoying boyfriend telling you the ins and outs of the highway code, or your grandmother berating your driving skills. It's far scarier. The story goes that in 1959, Mabel Chinnery, the wife of the man seen driving, was visiting her mother's grave when she decided to get out and take a photo of her husband. But it's the mysterious man in the back that really caught her attention, especially considering they're in a graveyard. Okay, this is just plain spooky. The supposed ghost was caught on camera in 1945 when an Australian mother took a photo of her late daughter's grave. Though when the film developed, a picture of a mystified-looking baby appeared. The scariest part? In 1990, a paranormal researcher investigated the graveyard only to discover that the bodies of two infant girls were buried in a nearby grave. Curious extra thumb. It may look like a classic photo of kids being kids, but if you take a second look, you might notice that one thumb appears out of place. It's impossible to work out what body it belongs to, and ever since the photo went viral, the internet has been awash with theories. Even the photographer has no idea. Time Traveler? This bizarre photo, captured in 1941, shows two men with modern-day cameras at the ray opening of South Forks Bridge in Canada. But how they got their hands on them in 1941 remains a mystery. Perhaps there's a DeLorean just out of frame? A church ghost. On an outing to Worstead Church in Norfolk, England, Peter Berthelot took a photo of his wife, Diane, praying on one of the church benches. Nothing paranormal about that, right? Well, that was until Peter got the film developed. It was then that they spotted a haunting ashen-clad lady lurking behind Diane. Predictably, the married couple were shocked and took the photo to the local vicar. It was then that they were informed of the white lady ghost, who locals believe was once a healer. 
Speaking to the Daily Express, Mrs. Bethelot believes the ghost healing practices rubbed off on her. I always felt it was a blessing because my whole life seemed to change after we realized the white lady had sat behind me. It inspired me to write poetry. The Staircase Ghost On the topic of ghosts, a retired clergyman from British Columbia got more than he bargained for when holidaying in London, England. One of Reverend Ralph Hardy's excursions included a trip to the National Maritime Museum in Greenwich. Enamored by the staircase in the Queen's House section, Hardy took the picture and thought nothing of it, until the film developed. Thus, instead of the elegant staircase, an image depicting a climbing ghost stole the picture's thunder. Even today, experts are dumbfounded. Scream from the future? It's not hard to spot. In fact, the grim reaper-like figure caught on camera by the local reverend bears a similar resemblance to Kevin Williamson's fictional murderer in the movie Scream. The story goes that the minister saw nothing scary or mysterious when he took the photos, until he got the pictures developed. Heard that one before, right? So you'd think the most likely case of this ghostly figure would have been an obvious result of double exposure. But that theory was soon dispelled by experts analyzing the photo, who then estimated the figure to be over 9 foot tall. It's still a mystery. Ground control to Major Tom. I can hear you asking, what's weird about this photo? It's just a landscape with a light in the distance. Well, this image was taken on Mars, which changes things just a little bit. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for part 2.